It's another Spike Studio product review, this time the TP-Link 150 megabit wireless and mini pocket router, the TLWR700N. We like it. Welcome everybody, another product review from Spike Studio. This time, as I promised you, we're taking a look at the TP-Link. This is one of their N routers, it's the 150 megabit uh, wireless N mini pocket router, model number TL, but it's the WR700N. So pretty cool about this one is it plugs straight into the wall, as you can see, one ethernet in and it becomes an access point. This is awesome for when you're on the road at one of those lovely hotels or whatever, and you wanna create your own little Wi-Fi piece. Now it does a little bit more, we'll talk about that in a minute, but let's take a look at what they give you here. Uh, they follow the Apple packaging design, lovely, isn't it? Uh, easy enough, the router, as you can see, small, compact, it has the actual light for the indicator, it has the ethernet port and the pop-out plug, pretty much like what you expect to see if you're plugging in a giant uh, Mac of some kind, which I like that already. Uh, hit in the top, which I found kind of cool that I didn't even realize was there when I first got the box. I didn't take this apart as you can see, was a ethernet cord. So it comes with an actual Cat5 for you all ready to go. Now, to configure it, you had a couple choices. First thing was they gave you a lovely little piece of paper, quick install guide. Then they gave you one for Macintosh. Same thing, little tiny piece of paper, quick install guide. Then they gave you one of the things I hate. One of these little dinky CDs. I don't like these things. They seem to get stuck, they don't work right, whatever may be the case. Some of you may love them, whatever. Spike Studio, we don't like them. So they give you the little mini CD, it's a resource CD for it, but no, not put it in the machine, I know what's gonna happen. So I went to the website, unfortunately on the website, I couldn't find this resource CD information for the router itself. I did find install guides. I did find uh, the firmware for it, which there's only one version apparently right now, but I couldn't find uh, the actual resource CD. So I'm not sure what's on it yet because I haven't loaded it, but I did test the router itself. So here we go. Uh, by default, it comes up and you know what, we'll use it as a demo so we can talk about it more and make a little more sense. By default, this thing comes up and it comes up in um, an actual non-IP assigning working mode, it's an access point. So it won't assign any IPs, it'll try to pass it on. Uh, you actually just connect to the SSID and the codes on the bottom, and off you go. There is a router mode that you can also do. Uh, it'll let multiple people share, of course. Only the wired port works as the WAN, and then you can connect it to the DSL modem, and then DHA DHCP server's on by default. There's also a repeater mode inside of this tiny device. So if you have a wireless signal that's a little weak, you can actually configure this to be a repeater for the other one. That's awesome. Uh, from there, pretty much straightforward to what you wanna do. You hook it up, log into it, uh, create yourself a little internet connection, and off you go. Performance-wise, I thought it was great. Didn't see any degradation, saw great speed and performance out of it. Uh, I used my own Cat5 line and plugged it in. So that worked really well. I was able to pick that up. What I did is plugged it into one of the ethernet ports I had around the office. I was able to connect to it, configure it easily. It uses the 192.168.0.254 uh, for the configuration for the management screen itself. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're trying to reach it. A lot of people think .1.1 or 2.1 or whatever it is. Uh, it's actually gonna give you the one for the uh, .0.254. Uh, Back to performance. I didn't notice a slowdown. I put three or four devices onto it. I actually said, you know what, let's do it. I went ahead and connected uh, an Android phone, an iPad, and uh, a BlackBerry. All at the same time. Oh, and of course, a, a MacBook. So I had four devices on it, running great, without any issues. Performance was good. The pocket size makes this awesome for travel. I would highly recommend that. The ease of configuration was there and the ability to change the modes of this make this a very strong contender as a portable one. I currently use a four port Linksys, a little tiny four port one that I was carrying, but I think I'm gonna switch over to this because if I get to a site that I just wanna enhance their wireless signal and be a repeater, I can do that as well, which I couldn't do before. Um, I would be stuck with either trying to hardwire and then try to connect up. So it really didn't give what I wanted to do. Uh, the router mode is cool. If you wanna create your own little VLAN, you can do that as well. And then of course, straight out of the box, it's gonna be an access point for the network that already assigns them. A lot of hotels that won't work well for you, you're gonna to have to go router mode with it. What I didn't like, I wish, and there's a reset button, little tiny dot, I forgot. What I wish is there was a second ethernet port. Why do I say that? I'd like to plug into the LAN of where I am and I like to have one hardwire. Maybe I want to configure, maybe I want to leave one machine directly connected to it and still run it as a router mode with a VLAN. I would love to see an ethernet port, a second one in this device, and I think it would be 100% rock solid. Now I've only been running it for a few weeks, so if there's anything that changes, I will let you know, but otherwise, 
Awesome reviews for the TP-Link 150 megabit wireless in router. Model number TLWR700N. Look at this and all the other reviews under Spike Studio. I'll put the link to the playlist up for you now. And if you have any questions, as always, let us know.